Hi there, Carrie Palmer, Nuggets of Knowing, and I'm happy to be back here with you. Thank you for listening. So I cut to the chase. I give you the no-nonsense talk on spirituality because we don't die. We have our soul groups. We pre-plan everything. Everybody that's in our life, we chose to be there. And it's just fun stuff. So what I want to share right now is about your feelings, your emotions, how you feel at any moment is everything. If you get to the place where you're happy all the time, your life is going to unfold before you in every possible thing you've ever dreamt of. It's going to come your way. Simply, that's truly it. But if you're miserable, if you're jealous, if you're judging people, how you feel is everything. If you think of an emotion chart, I'm going to put a chart at the end of the video if you want to do a screenshot. How you feel on the emotion chart, the top of it being bliss, elation, just enlightened, awakened, and the bottom of the chart would be death and anything that leads you right there to death, suicidal, despair, all that, that's at the bottom of the chart. Where you are on that chart determines how your life is going to go. I have a neighbor. <laughs> This neighbor is constantly saying, woe is me, this always happens, I have this happen, I have this happen, and it's all, of course, on Facebook and everywhere, and I just have to laugh. It happens because you keep making it happen. People, seriously. Something that boggled my mind, and it I know boggles boggled the mind of many, is I lost my sister, I have two sisters, when I found out she was ill and in the hospital and not doing very well, I had to check in with myself to see, how do I feel about this? So the deal is, like I said, I've got myself to the top of the emotional chart. I've been in bliss and happiness. Here I've got a sister who's gonna transition to the other side. And I'm thinking, well, when somebody dies, we get sad, we get depressed, we get, we just get all those feelings because somebody's dying. You know, a family member is dying and I have a very small family. And the thing is, like I said, I got to the top of the emotion chart. So as the day went by, you know, a couple days went by and my sister did pass, I was like, guess what emotion I felt? <laughs> I felt a little jealous. <laughs> I know that's weird, right? The reason is because I know she's free of that body that was aching and in so much pain and she is now on the other side of the veil where everything is magical. Our five senses, while we're on this planet, are so limiting, but we have no idea because those of us, which I haven't been fortunate to get a glimpse of the other side of the veil, but I know from everything I've read and all the people that I know, it is like the colors are like magical. The sounds, the feel, everything is magical. So my sister got to be there. So it was not a jealousy or anything like that, but it was like I felt happy for her. And I felt like, dang, but I know I'm going to be there soon enough. Not soon enough. I got a long time here. But do you see what I'm saying? It's I can't dip down to sad. Am I going to miss her? No. One of the coolest things that happened, I got the call that she passed. I was standing in my living room and I felt a swirl of energy just go all the way around me and through me. It lifted up the hair on the back of my neck. And I said, hi, Donna. I knew she was here. I knew she was here, I knew she felt good, and I knew she was in heaven being released from that body that was in a lot of pain, it really was. So my sister passes and this person that I know comes up to me after a few days realizing that I haven't shed a tear and says, aren't you sad? Your sister died. <laughs> I'm like, no. I mean, I feel bad for her children, now they have to navigate life without their mother. Uh, but no, I can't feel sad. I can't, people. I'm happy. On the emotion chart, look, where happy is, and look down where grief and despair is. When you're up here and riding high on that disc, you can't force your way down to like, <laughs> you can't do it. And it's not a bad thing. I'm in a really good way, and I hope to help you too. So wherever you are on an emotional chart, Look and see where you are and the, the sandbox you play in there, like the, the range of emotions, and make yourself a goal. You need to knock it up a couple notches. Just remember too, it's a decision. How you feel is a choice. No one can make you angry. No one can make you happy. You 
are the only one that could do this. I swear. I swear you're the only one. You have to choose how you want to feel. And I would recommend you just choose stinking happy from now on and just call it good. And you will start to see miraculous changes coming your way. I swear on it. Thanks a lot. It's Carrie Palmer, Nuggets of Knowing, and I'll see you next time.